Y'all know how rebound is. He's a menace. He always tries to get this. Last time I got him. This time I'm not so sure. I haven't streamed in a minute. I haven't watched a rebound video since he dropped the last one. Now, who will win? Who do you got? You got, you got Mark or Rebound? Which one? This is every NBA star's most humiliating moment. And in number 20, we got Steph Curry making the most embarrassing play of his entire career. Oh yeah, we all seen this. We all seen this. No boy. Wait, wait, let me get back, 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 run it back. Psych, I lie. Curry, man. So inspirational. But in number 19 on the other See, he already knows flight. He already knows flight. Other hand, is a disgrace. Cause Lonzo Ball's most humiliating moment was so bad, it got him traded. Does not go back in again. Lead pass, Lonzo's got it. What a dish. Oh, he blows the layup. I, I mean, everybody's done that. Oh, you're on team rebound, huh? After a great feed from LeBron, Lonzo with an absolute gimme. Couldn't finish it. Him. Everybody missed a uh, layup before. You know what I'm saying? Embarrassing. But imagine the shame of getting dropped and scored on. Because that's what happened in number 18, Chris Paul's most humiliating moment. I ain't gonna lie. It happened to Chris Paul a lot. Get up. Get up. Get up. Jesus, Steph had that man playing Twister. But uh, we gotta pass the mic to Giannis now. Cause it's the joke that he tells in number 17 that created his most humiliating moment. So listen, listen, this is a good one too. This is a good uh, one too. What's Trey's song, new song called? You guys know? No? Banana. Ah. Uh. What? Well, let's just move on, man. Now, for number 16, pay close I'm ignore attention that, to Luca here. Because he suffered his most humiliating moment and didn't even see it coming. Damn, I feel kind of bad for Luca, but I feel even worse for Zion. Because in number 15, this dude was caught simping in 4K by some thought. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> what a snob. Nah, we can't say it on Twitch. We can't say it on Twitch. We can't say it on Twitch. But you know what we want to say. You know what we want to say. Who is Sam? I mean, who is, you know what I mean. Uh, how am I one? How am I one? Nah. Hi. Why are you so handsome? Uh, yeah, yeah, a pimp. A pimp. Yeah, a pimp. Why are you a pimp? I'm not a pimp. This is crazy. Why are you so beautiful? I'm not. Oh, God. God, oh my God, stop. The fact that she recorded this too is crazy. Just to know, just one day know that they were going to break up so she can expose him for being a pimp. I almost hung up. You stop saying that you're beautiful. Stop. No, Zion, you stop. Now, getting caught simping is pretty cringe. But in number 14, Kevin Durant was caught doing something even worse. Uh, uh, uh. The All Star break with the Sonics averaging almost. Okay, never mind. I'll be ready though. He's averaging 19 a game his first year in the NBA. Player of the year in college basketball last year. Kevin. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. The sound. Oh, rebound. On. Rebound. But Why anyways, you get the sound in there, bro? What about a player like Jordan? I mean, uh, what does the GOAT's most humiliating moment even look like? Well. We got it at number 13. Right. Byron oh, Scott okay. is out. Byron has trouble. Here comes Michael. Oh, oh, mark it down. And it's okay. It happens to everybody. Damn. That's sad. 
But at least MJ tried. Cause in number 12, there's no way Russell Westbrook was trying. I mean, the man literally showed up to an NBA game. Watch it. Drunk. Here's the shooting story. Oh. And a wide gap. That won't appear on Westbrook's personal highlight film, I can guarantee you that. <sighs> Russ, what are you doing? Now, for number 11, we got to talk about Dwayne Wade. Oh, because... what, what's, you know what I'm saying? The third best shooting guard of all time. You know After what I'm saying? After the final game of his NBA career, he wanted <laughs> to do his signature table jump. Oh, shoot. Hey, leave Wade alone. Leave Wade alone. One last time. But instead, ah, ah, he's, he's, uh, that. he suffered his most humiliating moment. I'm on, I'm gonna okay, never mind. I know how, okay, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just like on edge because freaking rebound. Bro. Oh, oh. Wow, what a humiliating end to a legendary career. But anyways, we're entering the top 10 of our list. So it's about to get really humiliating. It was Kyrie Irving's first game in Brooklyn. He dropped 50 points and the Nets were still down one. Going into the final seconds of overtime, all Kyrie had to do was oh. score one final shot when this happened. My heart dropped, my heart dropped. Damn. I don't understand how this is humiliating. I don't understand. He kind of played it off, I guess. It's all right, Kyrie. At least you walked away with 50 points. Because in number nine, the only thing Joel Embiid walked away with was his face on a t-shirt. See, during the 2021 playoffs, Joel suffered the most humiliating poster of his entire career. Flops. Oh, Collins with one hand on top of Embiid. Man, John Collins it destroyed Embiid. And just three days later, Joel and the 76ers were eliminated from the playoffs entirely. Now, all that sounds pretty bad, but what makes this Joel's most humiliating moment was that he was forced to watch Collins <laughs> pull up to an interview, flexing a shirt of the dunk. Now that's cold, but... Hey, that boondocks interview. John Collins boondocks. Y'all see this? Huey and Riley Freeman, bro. That's just hard. Of the dunk. I just now first beat that. That's fine. But at the least if he didn't shame. get bodied by a dude that's literally half his size. Because that's exactly what happened in number eight. Shaq's most humiliating moment. Turns base by oh. Shaq, how the hell are you gonna let a four foot man G check you like that, dog? It's gotta be painful. But James Harden's most humiliating moment hurt like a bitch. About the contact. He would have lost Ooh. the man. Oh, and then put it into his own chin. Classic. Now, for number six, we got something special. It was a 2020 game between the Hawks and Celtics 108 to 106. Eight seconds left in the fourth. Trey Young gets the ball with a chance to win the game when he suffers the most humiliating moment of his career. Trey on the side Wait. with Tyson and rocks it back. Good and good 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 Smart walks over Trey Young with a dribble. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he did that. I cannot believe Marcus Smart did that in the closing second of the game. I ain't gonna lie. The Hawks announcers, they d riders bro. This the, the guy you hear right now, he's a, bro. Some of these uh, sports teams, like the sports team, uh, what's it called? The uh, PA announcers, the announcers, or like the sports uh, guys that be uh, sports broadcasting the game. Dude, those be, they be D-riding the most off of these, their teams, bro. Like, cause they have selective teams, they obviously, you know, broadcast off of. But some of them just be deriding so much, bro. Come on, bro. This man Trey just got blocked, stepped on, and lost the game. That's tough. But at least Trey just sent it. 
I mean, imagine being afraid to take a wide open shot in the biggest game of the season. Cause that's exactly what happened to Ben Simmons in number five. Shaking my head. Ah, his most humiliating moment. Simmons had cleared out for him. Back his way in. Spins on Gallinari. Gives it up. Oh, he was right there. Boy, Simmons. Uncontested had a layup. But well, that's he was scared of Trey Young. That's when you know that the game is in your head. That's a oh, dunk for man. Ben Simmons right there. You've got to. This play was so humiliating for Ben. He doesn't even want to be seen in Philly again. And yet, it still can't compare to number four. The time LeBron's hair just fell out mid-game. For both teams, the Lakers starting forwards have outscored the Jazz starting forwards 51 to seven. Mm. Bron, well, what the hell's going on with your head, huh? Well, after this clip went viral, we found out exactly what caused LeBron's hair to just This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it Fall out It turns out that LeBron didn't drop a like You sucker, you sucker Yeah 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 Y'all gonna respect me, y'all gonna put some respect on my name Nice try, Rebound, nice try It was a good try, man I'm on to you now, I'm on to you I'm not gonna lie, I was looking the whole video because I don't know when. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. To be fair, to be fair, it took me almost like I'll probably say what? I was I was on edge, bro, because I you you could do it anytime. I was expecting it like this is eleven minute video, I was expecting around like maybe four or five minutes early in the vid. I was like, no way, right? Didn't count. Oh my god. Alright, whenever rebound does it next time, I'll be I'll be fair. I'll be fair. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be fair. But anyway, y'all yeah, know, y'all know what to do. Subscribe to Rebound. Anyways, we're entering the top three, so we're taking the humiliation to a whole new level. Back in 2018, LaMelo Ball was playing a game in Lithuania for his dad's JBA league. Oh, when he smacked the dude. When he smacked the dude senseless. In the third quarter, he got into a he fight said, with another oh, player yeah. and got thrown out of the game. Now, Second the little fuck that dude. Himself was bad enough, Who you talking but about? To make matters worse, in the locker room after the game, only two guesses. The most humiliating moment of his entire Damn. life. You're a selfish mother. You get tapped in the head. I told your ass. We cannot respond like that. You of all people. But you let me down. You, 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 my brand. You, my game. We don't win because your ass. Let's go. What you want to do? Son, I told your ass. I said, you getting on my bad last nerve because you're doing the wrong over and, and over, over and over. And over again. I thought you had my back. You don't care about nobody on the team. You don't care about winning. You care about yourself. And I'm supposed to be calm. But I tell you what, I blame this, this, this loss right here, not on none of y'all. It's all y'all young and do your thing. I blame it on that raggedy right there. You changed the whole, the whole trip. Now. Damn, watching that give me. That's crazy. Okay, that's crazy. He said, I don't blame it on y'all. I blame it on that raggedy boat. <laughs> that's crazy. Don't, don't, you know, you know, LaVar, LaVar, you a genius, my boy. You know what I'm saying? LaVar's a genius. He know what he doing. He know what he doing. You got to respect that at the end of the day. He might have been mad annoying when Lonzo was getting in the league, but you, you just got respected. That boy has dang near three sons in the NBA. That is very hard to do, and be you know what I'm saying. He flashbacks to my and have a, and I have a and have a very successful brand. I'm just saying, he's a genius. I feel humiliated for Lamelo, but not as much as our boy J.R. Smith. I thought I thought that was Dinwiddie at first. Oh, we all know this. The most humiliating moment was the biggest mistake in NBA Finals history. The fact that it was embarrassing for him, and then uh, LeBron was turned into the meme as well. Another meme for LeBron. That's and we crazy. got it in number two. George Hill. Yo, this is Go to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. And we'll go to Old Kid Ohio. off his... Yeah, we you know, got Ryan. We got Ryan. I didn't Ryan. think anyone could have a more humiliating moment than this. But then I remembered 
there's one more player who's been getting humiliated his entire life. Uh, Barkley. Sir Charles Barkley. Yeah, I mean, uh, he spent 15 years trying to win a championship, but failed. He I thought the Paul Pierce was going to be on here, but I guess not. He's made know. fun of by Shaq 24-7 and is constantly embarrassing himself on Inside the NBA. But, you know, I don't think it's his fault. Charles is just special. I got two words for you. Steve Nash and Chris Paul. Must see TV. That's more than two words. I, I, I've seen that so many times. You didn't say two words. You said quick to the point. You just said I got two words. <laughs> Steve Nash and Chris Paul must see TV. That's why TV. I messed up, because I was trying to think of two words. I could have said that. that. that OK. Two words. Nash and Paul. That's three words. That's three words. <laughs> Man, I don't know about that one, Charles. Right? Oh. But I got two words for you. Click this video right here. These are NBA rookies versus NBA legends. This is like the most iconic video ever. What are you doing, dog? Click. He got me at the end. I ain't gonna lie. He did get me at the end. With that promotion to this bit. Now go sub up to rebound. That boy nearly at uh, 